Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. As you may know, the wardrobe system is on its way to live server soon, either through the release of Legion or its big pre-patch. In this video, I thought I'd sort of give you a preview of how it works and what you can do to prepare for it and possibly make some gold when it releases. Let's start off with the actual interface. When this gets patched in, you'll notice a new tab in your collections menu. This shows you every single transmogable armor and weapon piece in the game. And you can sort it by any armor slot you want, if you've collected it or not. And it also gives you a little preview of what the armor pieces look like. For each individual model, it shows all of the different pieces that shared since of course a lot of them are reused. You also have this handy search option so you don't have to sift through 20 pages just to find a specific model if you already know the name. You have separate slots for your main hand and off hand, and even enchantment slots. To unlock enchants specifically, you'll need to get something called a Tome of Illusion, which is an item that enchanters will be able to make. There are a few different ones and they're sort of separated by expansions. You got a book for some vanilla enchants, another for the Burning Crusade, and so on. Some of the enchants you have to get from boss drops from dungeons and raid instances scattered throughout the game. Here you can see one drops off Nefarian from the Blackwing Lair. They also brought out the long-awaited Tabard Transmog as well, which is great. There are 76 of them in total, so there are a ton of choices. And another popular request they implemented is the ability to hide shoulders. To transmog all of this, you still have to visit an NPC and pay some gold. It's not something you can switch out on the fly unless you have the Grand Expedition Yak. Another feature they're working on, although it's not fully implemented yet, is the ability to save outfits. You'll be able to save several different transmog sets and switch between them quickly at any transmog NPC. Everything is also account bound as well. If you unlock a transmog on one character, you unlock it for every character as long as you're in the same armor class. To actually unlock something, it has to be bound to you as well, so unfortunately you can't just buy something off the auction house, unlock it, and then resell it. Similarly for vendor bot items, if you get a refund on a piece of armor after buying it, you lose the transmog, so they pretty much covered everything. You also have to be in the same armor class. If you're a plate wearer and you loot or bind a cloth item to yourself, nothing will happen. Only plate wearers can unlock plate, only mail wearers can unlock mail, and so on. As for the quest rewards, as you may know, you get different choices depending on what class and spec you are. If you complete a quest, you unlock every possible reward you can get from that quest that's tied to your armor class. So for example, you have a choice between mail gloves and boots. If you choose the boots as a reward, it'll unlock the appearance for both the boots and the gloves. Currently, that's as far as it goes. Unfortunately, you don't unlock the appearances for cloth or plate rewards that you'd be able to choose if you were a class that wears that armor type. There's been some confusion about that, and I'm not sure if it's intended or not, but to unlock every single possible reward from a quest, you have to complete it on a cloth, leather, mail, and plate character, which is kind of rough. So aside from that little quirk, I think everything seems really well thought out. It's a nice collection to chase after. There are thousands and thousands of different models in the game, so it'll take quite a while to get them all. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are pack rats like me, so it'll be nice to finally free up some inventory space. As to how you can prepare for all of this, obviously hang on to everything. Now would be a bad time to finally clear out your void storage and bank. And of course any item you get now will unlock when the patch finally hits. So you can get an early start if you want to start collecting old set pieces or whatever. And if you want that convenience, now may be a good time to pick up that Grand Expedition Yak. You buy that from Uncle Big Pocket in the Kunlai Summit for 120,000 gold, so it's pretty pricey. It does also come with a repair vendor along with the transmog NPC, so it's pretty handy. I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to research it further. And for all of you gold makers out there, now would also be a good time to start stocking up on those big crates of salvage that you get from the salvage yard. These will be nerfed along with the release of the wardrobe, but any crate you get now will be unchanged. As you may know, these contain all sorts of rare old world bind and equip armor pieces. I think the transmog market in general will be revitalized once the patch hits. So saving those and just transmog gear in general may be a good idea because they could see a big increase. The first thing a lot of people will be doing is scouring the auction house to work on their collection, so saving everything for day one of the patch may be pretty lucrative. They're also releasing achievements and even a title to go along with all of this, so there's going to be a big demand for all of these bind and equip pieces when it's released. Another way you can make gold is through the Tomes of Illusion. As I mentioned, these will be made by enchanters, but you can start collecting the materials needed for them now. They need various old world enchanting materials, elements, and so on, so now's a good time to stock up on those. As long as they don't change any of it, that is. Keep in mind, all of this is from the beta, so anything is subject to change. If you do want to know more about those tomes, though, I actually made a full-blown video for that where I go into a little more detail, so check that out if you're curious. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. But I guess that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Let me know your thoughts on this, because personally, I'm really hyped for it. I've been waiting a long time for this, so it'll be a good time when that patch finally hits. 
Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.